I didn't see you. I was too busy focusing on the new cast. But that's not why we're here today. Today we're here to talk about something that is near and dear to my heart. Market Square. Did you know that the oldest commercial building here in Houston is housed right here in Market Square? Me neither, until this semester. Did you also know that Old City Hall used to be right where I'm sitting? Oh, you didn't. Well, let me tell y'all all about it. Imagine that you're venturing outside of the Honors Lounge. Yes, it might be a difficult task, I know. I'll wait. Okay, you done yet? You decide that you want to go somewhere for lunch, but you don't want to go far because you have class in 30 minutes. You decide that you're going to go to Nico Nico's, balling on a budget, I know. You are in line ordering your food, but little do you know that you are standing on history. Market Square, formerly called Congress Square, traces back to 1836 and houses one of the oldest commercial buildings in Houston, La Carafe, which was known as Kennedy's Bakery in the past. So cool, I know. Sit down with your girl while I spill this tea. Well, like, me and my friends. Take it away, Stephane. Got it. I know how you kids love your stories. Once upon a time, there was a guy named John Kennedy who decided to play Monopoly with most of Market Square and end up owning an entire corner's worth of businesses that were literally named after him. Goals, right? Kennedy's corner consisted of multiple businesses, and even though it was in a very rough environment, he still got a lot of business, so he was probably stunned on everyone back in the day. The oldest of them all was Kennedy's Bakery. Oh, were they cooking up, you ask? Nothing but trouble. Before it was a bakery, it functioned as a trading post, a slave market, and a rumored whorehouse. Not exactly the kind of place I want to eat my muffins. But you know what? I probably would have put my prejudices aside back then because, apparently, Kennedy's Bakery was the only public building to have an indoor toilet. John Kennedy built the bakery in 1860, and ownership of the bakery remained in the Kennedy family until 1970, in which it was passed to William V. Berry, who operated La Carafe until his death. It's a tiny little place still situated on 813 Congress Avenue. But don't think about trying to get in unless you're 21. Believe me, we tried. Now a bar, Lockcraft will forever have a special place in Houston's heart. Oh, but Lockcraft isn't the only place that has a special place in Houston's heart. There's also the old city hall. The love had to have been real because that place burned down like four times before the city was like, okay, no, this isn't working, and decided to move it. Market Square was the site of the old city hall for almost 100 years until it was moved to the present location in 1939, probably because people got sick of playing Jenga after every fire and rebuilding it. Market Square was actually called Congress Square because the capital of the Republic of Texas was supposed to be built there, but the people building it was like, nah, and decided to build it at the corner of Texas Avenue and Main Street instead. I mean, hey, we can't always get what we want, so the land was renamed Market Square, and City Hall went there along with the old City Hall clock, which kept everyone on time. Speaking of time, we should probably keep track of it and move on to the next topic, Warren's Inn. Long before there was a Warren's Inn, there was a Beth Lang building which was believed to be the second oldest building in downtown Houston. The building was torn down in 1988 in the middle of the night. Someone must have really wanted the building gone. Preservationists were very upset and called it an act of cowardice, but who could blame them? They were also angry because it was the only historic site left on the west side of the Market Square. Warren's Inn was originally housed in the Bethling building at 316 Milam Street until it was moved to present day location at 307 Milam Street in 1978. It's kind of funny because the liquor is actually older than the building. Who wants an A? Today we have two Texas history enthusiasts. We have Stephane. Hi, Mom. Hi. And we have Taylor. Let's see who's gonna win the battle. Kennedy Bakery for two points. La Carafe was formerly known as what? The Kennedy Bakery. That is correct. Good job, Stephane. Kennedy Bakery for five points. The ownership of the bakery remained under the Kennedys until blank. And whom was it passed to? 1970, Dr. Jim Poise. I, I'm sorry, but that's incorrect. Stephane, do you have an answer? 1970, William B. Berry. Look who's correct again. It's Almost as if she has the answers next to her. Warren's in for two points. 
where and when is born in present day location? On 307 Milam Street, 1978. Honestly, truly, Joanne ain't got nothing on this. You go, Stathane. You go. Market Square for two points. What did the Kennedy Bakery used to be before it was a bakery? A bakery, duh. Stephane? A trading post, whorehouse, and slave market. Correct. Once again, it's people like you that give me hope for the future. Warren's Inn for five points. When and why was Warren's Inn torn down? The building was torn down in 1988 by preservationists. I'm sorry, but that's actually incorrect. The building was demolished by haters, not preservationists. Market Square for two points. What was Market Square's former name? Market Circle. I don't even get paid enough for this. I done told y'all about bringing these people that don't know anything about history on this show. Who does the casting? Like, I literally cannot. I do not get paid enough for this. Did you hear that, girl? She said Market Circle. What? And we're going live. Well, welcome back to Who Wants an A, and I'm your host, Tammy. Now, let's pick up where we left off. Kennedy Bakery for two points. When did Kennedy build the bakery? 1860. Correct, once again. You know what? After this, she might just steal my job. Bonus question. Complete this phrase. Things mean blank. Things. And the winner is... Taylor! I'd like to thank our Lord and Savior, Davy Crockett, and um, my cat Lucy for keeping me warm at night, and um, the, 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 the sidewalks for keeping me off the streets. I, I, I knew this would happen. Oh, I've just received news that there's been a mix-up. It's actually Stephane. Oh, oh, I knew it. Yay. 